Hello everyone, so I'm going to do a map haul. This is kind of more of a collective haul. I didn't buy this all at one go and I also bought them from different places as well. So the places I bought them I'll link in the um, information box down below. I've got a new fix class because mine, I've only got a little bit left of my one so I've got a backup one of these. I use this just to set on my makeup once I've done. Um, does anybody know if you can back to Mac? like empty ones of these. I know on the bottom it's got the back to Mac sign on there, but so does that mean that you can back to Mac anything in the box that has that sign? Um, I know you've got to have like six six things to back to Mac, but obviously if my one runs out, but obviously when my one runs out, I will then keep it so I can back to Mac it when I have six things. So if someone could let me know if you can back to Mac these, that'd be really great. <laughs> I then got the strobe liquid lotion and it just comes in a pump bottle like this. You can see I've already used a little bit of it because it's dirty. Um, I should really keep my makeup more clean but I should never do. Um, I got this because in one of Michelle 1218's videos, I can't remember which one it was, um, it was her inspired one of her inspired looks, I really can't remember which one, but she used this in her foundation. So I thought I'd try it. It comes out like this and it's just and it just gives your skin a like a really nice glow. I don't know if you can see that, that's what it looks like. Just rub it in. And she mixed hers with her foundation to just to help give her skin a nice glow. So I've only, I've only actually used it once. I've got it on at the moment, but I haven't really noticed much difference, really. But maybe if I persevere with it, I might see some difference. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I might do. I might use this more and then do a review on it. Um, I then got a lipstick in Hue, and it looks like this. And I'll do a swatch. It's just a really nice, I like subtle pink colour, almost nude. It's just really nice, subtle colour. Rock, Rock and Glitter, who does videos on YouTube, I'll link her. I'll link her channel down below. She she recommended this. Um, she used this in one of her videos and looked really nice when she put it on so got that and it is really nice I do like that um when I brought them bits from MAC I got a free sample of the strobe cream it just looks like this and it's just got like a pop up one and it's kind of the same as the strobe liquid it just looks like very similar as you can see, that's with it on. It's not. You can see that it's not really shimmery, but it just. It's got kind of like a little bit purpley undertones. I don't know. I don't know whether that's just the light. So I've got the free sample of that, and I read up about this first before I've. I haven't actually used this, but I've read up on this because um, I wanted to see. Because on the Mac, I haven't actually used this, but on the Mac website it says that it can be used as a like moisturiser. But because I've got quite sensitive skin, I wanted to read up on it first to see any reviews on it. So I went on to Makeup Alley, and it didn't get that brilliant review to be honest with you. Um, a lot of people said that when they used it as a moisturiser, it like made them have a breakout so perhaps I won't be doing that <laughs> and uh, they said they also said um, and they also said that if they put it some oh some people also said that it could look quite greasy on their skin as well so I don't know they didn't, it didn't really get that good reviews but some people did say about using it as a highlight so for like their cheeks and down the nose and like just under their eyebrows as well. So maybe I'll try it as that, we'll see. 
I then got these, I did buy these from Mac. The, those are the only bits I brought, got from the Mac website. These rest, I did, oh, no I did, I got this. I also got, in my first video, I said, like the, in my very first video, the Estee Lauder, in my very first video, the Estee Lauder haul, I had in there my double wear foundation by them. And I was saying about how I really wanted a pump to go on it because it just comes with a lid and you have to just tip it out. And I always used too much when I just tipped it out. But then I Googled to see whether the MAC Foundation pump would fit in it because like MAC and Estee Lauder and all that, they're like linked companies. So, and it, they said that it did. So I, like, I got one and tried it and it fits. So I was very, I was really pleased about that. So I was really pleased about that. And it comes with a little cap as well that you just slip on and then you can't push the pump down. So that's really good because I just keep my foundation like in a drawer so it's all like laying down and things. So it's good that you can't push down with the cap on. So I was really pleased with that. Um, that's all that I got from the actual MAC website. All this stuff I've got here is from a different website. It's from different places. So. I'll obviously, like I say, I will link the websites down in the description box where I've got these from. I got, I've got, got a lip gloss in Underage to go over the hue. And it's just a really nice, like, baby pink, almost nude colour. I don't know if I'll swatch a big swatch. I don't know if he's going to pick. I don't know if you can see that there. It's just a really nice really light pink so almost nude colour and it will go really nice like over that as well if I swatch that next to it you can see they would go really nice together that was one lip gloss that I got I also got another two oh. the other, another one I got is Early Bloomer it looks like this these are the lip glasses by the way and this is just a really nice pink, like glittery colour. It's a really light pink as well. Again, it looks a lot pinker in the tube than what it actually does come out. It comes out like that. And you can see it's just a nice pink shimmery. I don't know if the shimmer's going to pick up the most. Right, I've got glitter in. So if you don't like glitter on your lips, you're not really going to like that. Although they're not, they're not like massive bits of glitter, but. You can you can see them, so if you don't like shimmery glittery lips, then that's not going to be for you. I then got Oyster Girl that looks like this, and it swatches like this is another one you have to do a big swatch because you're not going to be able to pick it up. It looks a little bit purpley in the tube, it comes out like this, so you can see it's just like a really nice light pink subtle colour, so it doesn't look, it looks a bit purpley in here but that's how it comes out, just like that, so I was really pleased with them. I then got a blush in Well Dressed. And it's just a really light pink colour. And it comes out like that. You can see that. So, just a really light pink colour. And then I got two of their paint pots. I got one in Painfully. And it Swatches just like that, it's just an, a really matte, light nude colour. Comes out like that. So that would be really good as like a base under your eyeshadow. Like and then I got one in Bear Study. And it looks like this. And swatches like that <coughs> comes out <coughs> just like that. You can see it's um, 
This is more shimmery than the painterly one. That would be good as a base as well, but I think that would look really nice with just this on its own and a bit of like eyeliner and mascara. I think that would look really pretty as well on its own. So that was my uh, MAC like collective haul. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!